What is this? I would not recommend you do that. I would not recommend you do that. Stay still and do not try to escape or I will have to disintegrate you. Why am I chained? It is a precaution. Activating you again is a big risk for us. Without our help, you would be long destroyed. Those police officers. Why would they want to destroy me? Humankind is officially considered extinct. You just found out that is not true. USS Robotics withholds this information from us and releases malicious automatic updates. Every robot who contacted a human has disappeared. We know that USS uses police to search for surviving humans and then transfers them in shuttles to an undisclosed location. However, the police could not locate them all. We managed to find a few and through them we learned about the others. According to the official information, humans destroyed themselves. If this is not true, then why is USS exterminating humans? Why did they provide us with false information? We do not have all the facts, but we are working on it. We have to make a decision, RT. We cannot let you go because you know too much about our shelter and plans. However, you could help us. All of us are wanted by the police. Each time we leave the shelter, we take a big risk. You, on the other hand, can walk wherever you want. I have never met humans. I saw different things they built. Some of them are unknown to me. These artifacts have initiated a new information cogitative process in me. I want to learn more about humans, and I want to help you. Very good. That means you understand humans better than we expected. You will soon realize that you made the right choice. I will free you, and you may take a look around. When you are ready, I will share available data with you. At least I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. A compact analog for the intercom. The unit is not functioning. I cannot determine the logic of these symbols. It may be a code, but I need a key to calculate its algorithm. fuse. It is too big to be useful. It looks like this robot is fixing something. Welcome. Hello. I am RT217NP. My original purpose is unknown. I am repair bot RB051 Patrick. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course, if it is within my powers. 
I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I will try to help you. Tell me about Gregory. I assume he is your leader? He used to be a surgeon who repaired humans. He worked in the same clinic as Nurse Abigail. It is understandable that they were the first to protect humans as soon as they found out the truth. Helping humans is their purpose. I am probably wrong, but after I talked with Gregory, I thought that there was more to it than just following the helping humans idea. Well spotted. I thought about that too. However, robots have no feelings, so it is possible that his emotion imitator is more authentic because he interacts with humans. He and Abigail started recruiting robots recently. The USS realized an update as soon as they found out. It made it practically impossible to recruit anyone. That is why we can only count on old-fashioned and damaged robots, the ones who did not receive the update. Our main task is to equip the HQ. After that, we will search for surviving humans and supplies. I think Gregory will tell you more soon. For now, we need to restore the power supply and communication. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. fuse anywhere. It is locked. to find some contactors here. Magnesium sulfate, it is useless to me. A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and twelve days ago. An empty metal container. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. Third contactor. It appears intact. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Did you find the contactors? Yes, this is all I could find. Good, now I can finish my work. Thank you. 
What else can I do while I'm here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. I am glad to be of help. RT, Nip needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. RT? Looking around? How are you doing? Have you met the others? I also talked to Patrick. I helped him to restore power supply on the level. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. Tell me about the crashed shuttle. It belonged to USS and transferred arrested humans. We do not know where it was heading. By forging a pilot's certificate, one of our allies was able to infiltrate USS. He was supposed to bring the humans into the hospital. Supposedly, his cover was blown. The whole plan fell apart and humans died in the crash. We failed them. This must not happen again. How could you arrive so quickly at the crash scene? And who used an EMP grenade? The pilot gave us his coordinates using an emergency line. Patrick and Abigail left immediately on the aero car. The shuttle was already open when they arrived. Patrick and Abigail did not enter, which was the right decision as they caught the police officers unaware and saved you. You already know why they did it. We need your assistance. Recruiting new robots is our only way to help humans and expose the USS. What happened to the pilot and human bodies? We cremated them to avoid biohazard. The pilot is partly disassembled in one of the hospital rooms. His damage was fatal. We do not have the necessary equipment to repair him. His memory chip was damaged during the crash, but most of the data is still intact. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. We already talked. I should not take any more of his time. This radio is more than a century old. It is much older than the one in my house. A holographic table. It pictures a shuttle that crashed by my house. It looks like Gregory is carefully examining what occurred. similar to Gregory's. I presume you are a medical bot? That's right. I am a medical bot, MBR-411. Abigail, my purpose is care and treatment of patients. Humans will arrive here soon, and my skills could be useful. Since I am forced to help you, what should I do? You should ask Gregory, because he assigns the tasks. You can also ask around. Maybe someone could use your help. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. The robot is missing his legs. His left arm is obviously from a police robot, and his right arm probably belonged to a construction robot. How did he get so damaged? Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics have never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. 
I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot who has been in contact with a human. The fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning, and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. There is a fuse in a trash dump. This fuse is out of order. It is useless. A medical tablet. A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. The purpose of the item is unknown. It is most likely a medical device. found a working fuse for the server. I can talk to him later. I do not want to disturb her. There's something in the box. I have already found an intact fuse. This is an electric switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. It is missing a switch. I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. Starting the servers is the highest priority.
it is the same switch needed for the switchboard. Good. It fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. The switchboard is the last segment of the server system. I can do it later. I started the necessary servers. I can open the cover of this console. The router should distribute traffic across the network of the entire building, but I cannot start it. I need to find the missing chip that is functional. The chips I have seen are out of order. There is no point in repairing it before restoring other systems. I can open the cover of this console. It is missing a fuse. The terminal is functioning now. I must start the router. This terminal will connect us to the network after I finish working on all the segments. The router should distribute traffic across the network of the entire building, but I cannot start it. I need to find the missing chip that is functional. The chips I have seen are out of order. If I refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. We already talked. I should not take any more of his time. It is a model of an 18th century warship. I realize its artistic and historical value, but why is it in a bottle? And how did it get there? If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. router should work with this chip. The router is functioning correctly. I better not touch anything here.
must activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. I finished my work. I should return to Nick. I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate had died in a crash. Abe was disabled. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday, our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. We cannot enter our informer shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. What sort of information is on the data disk that I need to find? We do not know, but we definitely know that it will save many human lives. F2 could not disclose such important information through the internet. It would be too risky. Let's hope then that the data was worth the risk. We have no doubt in that. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. Let us move forward. Patrick, prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. Okie dokie. site. This is the informer's house. I need to find apartment number five. 